Hey, how are you? Come on in. Your chair's waiting for you. We have our second soap today from Subtle Art Soap Company. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duo. Hey, it's good to see you. Come it on, is. we were hoping you'd be here today. If you're here during the live premiere, join the chat. Yeah, introduce yourself. There's some awesome folks there waiting for you. And hit like and subscribe for us. It helps out the channel. It really does. So for our mention mm -hmm. today, I do not like to carry around my aftershave bottles everywhere I go. But sometimes halfway through the day, you might need a little bottle. Well, Amazon has got you covered. There are... 50 of these in a package for just mm -hmm. over ten dollars y'all they hold a few millimeters of your stuff and you can take it with you in your pocket and you can send it to your buddies to you share it a little share, bit yeah. right so we just thought we'd mention these mm -hmm. these are kind of a fun way to share your aftershaves yeah, your EDPs. Trade, and we do get a little nervous with our glass bottles the taking them places or you know adventuring right. out of the house could be dangerous so yep. that's been our go-to little Option. Yeah, and also with aftershave, you put it on your hand, you put it on your face, and then you wash your hand, and you kind of waste a little bit. With this, for me, you can just spray, spray, spray it spray. right on, and that way there's nothing on your hand to have to wash off. <laughs> and what's our soap today? Well, our soap today is from Subtle Art, and we first had theirs, Autumn Wood, in fall, and it was amazing. That mm -hmm. blew our skirts all the way. Go I check that video out so you don't miss was. next season. Right, and veteran-owned Subtle Art yeah. has created Storm Cloud mm -hmm. for maybe a spring-summer set, and we're so excited, so we grabbed this and for the razor company let's meet the show all right so this is from the sales page at subtle art soap company a bold and masculine fragrance that combines oh. Things and I that's can't it. Read. Those are the set notes. All right, y'all. Well, this is exciting because the cool thing I loved about Autumn Woods was there were some really prominent set notes that were so beautifully blended. Mm -hmm. I didn't even catch them off right. the pocket first, like pine. Mm -hmm. I didn't catch the pine note yeah, because was it was so beautifully mm -hmm. blended in to the other Autumn Woods. And so. I was sort of thinking of this one because April showers bring May flowers, so storm clouds, you know, right. just throwing it in and here for season. And you know what season. May flowers bring? Oh. Pilgrims. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let's get over that as fast as we can. Let's unbox it. We already got our crystal note on uh, the previous episode. And the new so. tape on the TRC boxes is kind of fun. Beautiful. Oh, but, oh. there it is, y'all. Storm cloud. Oh, look at and that it's a cloud bag here. for yeah. travel and for your protection. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm excited. There you are, folks. You. We have a second one from them, finally. Yeah. All right. I'm not waiting any longer. Let's have a first impression. <laughs> I think you should go first because Autumn Wood left a mark that we were not expecting. Y'all, I go back to that one all the time. It's got a fun apple just thing in there. Whiff of Autumn back right when I need it, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So oh, I'm excited. This one might be my summer storm soap. I, I mean, know. who knows? I mean, they hinted the masculine side, so I'm thinking a little yeah, more. Yeah, I, I did not the, check out the second That's yet, all so. we got. We didn't read any further. Ooh. Right. All right. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. I'm excited. Oh, oh y'all, I, I don't mean to what? alarm you, but the poor. Oh, it's green look, too. It's beautiful. It's like a wow. Okay. okay. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Is it like a foggy, stormy kind of vibe, like aquaticy ish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> you know what I love? I don't get aquatic off ah, the top. Okay. No, no, no. This is more of a. It's like a storm brewing. I don't know. No, this is more of a natural charmer. Oh, Hold on a okay, second. Okay, okay. Strap in here, folks. Uh, I don't get tumultuous clouds. I get some beautiful, beautiful natural oh, sweetness in this. Hold on. Oh, okay. Does it have a colony like masculine? No, side? nope. Oh. It kind of starts with some things that are a little bit spicy, and then okay. it dives you down into something that's a little bit fruity. I don't oh. think it's floral. Okay. I think it's something a little bit fruity in the middle, maybe Ooh, a little intriguing. bit of a, a berry or an apple, something hiding in there. Okay. And it's a, it's a beautiful blend, so it's like hiding in there. Oh. And I don't, you know. I don't think it's an aquatic because an aquatic gives me like blue green right, notes, right, and right. I know the soap is bluish. Okay. But I get more of the pinks. I get a little bit more of like the whites. I get. Oh, I'm intrigued. Oh, I wonder what's making that. Right, and a little bit resinous, maybe. Okay. A little bit of benzoin hiding in there, maybe Does something it put like that. Do you um like are you at a place you're outside? Oh, good question. Do you know, I, I mean, the the title could take us there, but I'm just curious if the scent even takes you to that pit. You know. Oh. You know, I kind of my brain kind of flashes to like a Catalina. 
Ah. Somewhere that's like mm-hmm. that does have ocean, but you're there on land with lots of fun okay. stuff to do, mm-hmm. right? So just something about the brightness of the day, the blueness of the sky is in this. Isn't that funny? I picture storm cloud and I automatically think like dark, like I know, know but I but I get it. No. I know what you're saying. Doesn't take me dark, y'all. Okay. Takes me to some beautiful, sweet, subtly sweet places. Subtly. <laughs> With a little bit of some woods sort of just Ooh. brought in for comfort. This is a comforter. So I, you know, if we're gonna bring it to storm cloud. Here's why I love storms, right? And here's why I love to sometimes turn on like noise machines that have thunderstorms. Right, right, right. Because while it may be going bananas outside, like a whirlwind and rain and sleet and hail, right? If you're in your comfy bed or you're on your comfy couch under a big right. blanket, that feeling of being all cozy and socked in while the weather's going crazy outside, that. That's ah, what it takes. See, me. that's good for April. We totally knew right. we were doing put it on the schedule. <laughs> okay, here you go. You take this okay, in. So much okay. thing. And definitely I think more spring than oh, summer. I okay. get a little bit more of a springiness to it, a little bit more I'm, bbrightness, a little bit more optimism. I think. Yeah, take the, this is an optimistic well, soap she likes for me. It too. <laughs> right. Oh yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. What do you get? I see what you mean by it could be a floral. It could be uh, maybe a fruit in there. Something in the middle. I know. It's beautiful. It's something a little bit like less sweet on the outside, mm-hmm. a little bit less sweet in the undertones, but right in the middle is something beautifully yeah. floral and a little bit herby maybe. And, sweet. and it's 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 fun that you used the word subtle just because you were kind of joking because that's in the oh, name. Yeah, but I, I really do get that. that it was a, it is have a subtle like yeah. little in, hint. Like it lets you kind of come up with the rest. Right. There's like a whole color that erupts to you, but then there's lots of little drawings inside that color for you to explore. Are you scared of the storm you need snuggles yeah Yeah, it actually i mean i did not read any of the description at all i I was really trying to just go by where the title would take us when we got this one and it does have a um i don't want to say gloomy but i can feel like the you know when it's a more a warm area and the storm hits and it has that mugginess in the air right yeah like i almost can smell that i don't know how that's happening like when it's been raining when i was in the bahamas yeah something like it's a different hot rain right it does it totally has that ah okay now we're getting somewhere you know when i read that first sentence where we had to cut off i was thinking it'd be way way more masculine but you're right i don't get that as yeah y'all this is not your deep patchoulis and your deep masculine tobaccos no 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 get that out of your head this is a much cleaner idea of a masculine and I, I do feel like it just, um, you do feel like you're hiding under a blankie or that you're cozy, yeah. but there's a little bit coming around. Like, I honestly feel like if I was stressed out or like feeling the storms of life, right. I would want to use this soap. There's right. something that's kind of calming and comforting about it. Right. And maybe just the vibe of a mm-hmm. rain that's beginning. You know, yeah, just that no, little comforting you. sense of a little bit of a rain that's just starting on the pavement. But outside. I do feel like there is some sort of a floral or something that's making it pretty in there. Yes. And I, I think yes. it's going to come alive more in the lather because I don't. Ooh, there's, that's it's a good so point. blended in the tub that I'm almost like digging to get yeah. it out there. And it, I, I know the color has like a charcoaly color to it. It does. But it, I don't. I don't know if that even comes across as a scent or if that's the foggy part that I'm kind of getting gloomy. I don't know, I don't but know. I'm glad you said the P word because this is a really pretty soap, y'all. Just it a is. beautiful balanced fragrance. And there's something there's something mature about it, but also throws me back to being a little kid. I don't know. Uh. Or maybe if there's like a something in the atmospheric pressure. There's like a clay going on or a charcoaly thing or a muggy. There's something different. There's a tiny, tiny bit of a sweetness in here that there reminds is. me a little bit somehow of Saturday mornings and yep. I'm not entirely sure how it's doing yeah. that, but yeah, that's what I'm, I'm getting. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. I am getting some kind of subtly sweet fruit or flower in the middle of this. And it and does I make me think of spring, it. which I think is oddly fitting. I know this has been out for a little while, but it was just funny when it landed on our schedule Ooh. that it, uh, it fits the season here. And this lather, y'all, this oh, is that my... Was I know, I know, <laughs> 0.8 seconds. This is my KUN lather bowl with my Sterling 24 millimeter lather brush. Here. That was pretty quick, I gotta Ooh, say. I know, it's just beautiful. All right, I'm curious at the smell. Oh, I can smell a little bit more yeah. of the rain on wet concrete, y'all. Just oh. It's not a petrichor thing. It's not like the right, leaves right. thing. But, but just a little tiny bit of that mm-hmm. resinous that's giving me the idea of rain on I'm paint. with you. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Really cool. And then something just subtly tropical in either the fruit or the flower on the inside, I think. Maybe a tropical right. barrier. Well, it's funny that you mentioned Catalina because I do get like the wet stone or rock. You know, that kind right. of island rock has right. or like a lighthouse, you know, the rock yep. that's around. And not a traditional aquatic because I don't get any of those light blues or light greens. But it's doing it in a different, more charming way, oh. in a rain way rather than an ocean way, I think. Okay, so here we go. 
Let's have the lather whiff. Oh, that, yes, this got even more pretty. I know, I know, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Yeah, Ooh. it must be a masculine there's, floral. There's I don't know some, what that yes, is. Yes, there is some beautiful, gentle, masculine floral in there that's got a little bit of a hint of summer sun to it, I think. That's where I'm putting my flag. Interesting. And I, you know, I, if I didn't know it was called Storm Cloud, oh. I'm still put outside. Yeah, I, it's an outside, yes. I, I, I'm definitely outside still. It's If I didn't know that it was called, like, oh, Storm Cloud. Right. I think by the smell, though, I still am at a place. I still am outside. Yes. This does not take me to a person. This takes me to an outdoor place and somewhere big. Somewhere with a big sky. Somewhere yeah. with a big horizon, right? I almost feel like I'm sitting on a back patio of a really cute cafe, and Ooh. I'm watching the storm, like, come right. through. Right, And, you know, the system is starting to change. You can yes. kind of tell the atmospheric pressure is moving. And somewhere Something's that brings happening. you tea and little cozies. Right? And, right things like that. Yeah. Right? And little teapots. I'm sitting there like writing in my journal or reading a book, and I'm yeah. just like, the storm goodbye until I want to drive home. Everybody in there is either reading a book or writing a screenplay. Mm -hmm. One of the two. Right? Clearly, that's kind of what you place. need to be doing. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's it's, and I do like the intensity of it. It's not. It right. is more on the subtle kind of mid range side, but I kind of like that. That's more of the storm crowd literally creeping yeah, in. Yeah, I put this at like a two point five yeah. out of five, like kind of nicely right in the it's center, been, nothing yeah. too jumping out at you. It does and it is a gentle. beautiful balance. I don't think any of these set notes we are about to read jumps out. No, at you. no, no. And I kind of like that because it really does, it just sets the tone or the vibe. Right. Does that make sense? Yes, just a gentle, woody, natural sweetness mm -hmm. to it. Right? Uh, I'm with you. All right, I think we need to take a look at these set notes. I need to know how this is done. All right, y'all, so from the sales page at Subtle Art Soap, a bold and masculine fragrance that combines... Mandarin, ah, oh. yeah, tropical fruit, yeah, but What's sweet, but a gentle sweet, right? A beautiful sweet, almost candy one. And right. that's there why it outside. is. Outside, there is sunshine. Right. You totally called that. That's it. Black pepper, love it. A little bit of spiciness mm. off the top. I get that, but it doesn't make it, it dark. Right? It's, no, it's, it's nice. No, beautiful, right? It's refreshing. Oh, clove. Interesting. Lovely. Not something we've had a ton of experience no. with in the shaving soap world. Agreed. And it's beautiful. Yeah, we've right. had like clove bud. But right. not like clove. Straight and then clove. I wonder if this marches in time with the cardamom. I do right? smell that. Now that you say yeah. it, I knew it was something I knew, right. but I couldn't pull it out. And those are those center notes. Yeah. Oh, this next one surprises me a little bit. Ah. Hints of leather. Okay, now that I read it. Yeah. I don't I know can, if I would have picked that one out. Hold on. I would not have picked it out, but now that I'm reading oh. it. I can search for it, but it's really right. hidden in there. But just sort of a, like a nice cashmere leather jacket yeah. kind of a smell, not like not a saddle a mask, leather. Yeah, no, no, no. But yeah, something just very wearable, soon. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then sandalwood. Yeah. Love it. And then for a little air of mystery and mystique, frankincense. Yeah, I would not have picked that one out. Right? If you gave me a multiple choice, I got to say that one and leather were probably the last two I would have picked. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. And they're not crazy intense in those base notes. No. So those are just there to give it a little bit of an anchor, but yeah. I think it's still a little bit on a balloon tether. It's still yeah. up there a little bit, right? I don't really sense those darker things. Yeah, something here made this much more real yeah. instead of out of the puck. Like, that's more blended. But here, I, I'm getting a real place. I don't exactly Ooh. pull apart all those things. If I want to find them, I can. Yeah. But it really just sets that tone and energy of that kind of fogginess oh. of like the clouds rolling in. Right. And it's nice for me because it does play against the traditional masculine. So if mm -hmm. you do want something spicy and a little bit darker, that's not tobacco. That's right. not going to be one of those, you know, crazy saddle leathery scents. Right. Mm -mm, this is the opposite mm -hmm. of those. And yet still has that masculine hint to it that mm -hmm. this is a guy scent. I mean, I think it would be lovely to put yeah, on the ladies, yeah, yeah. but I think this is a little bit more on the masculine yeah, side. Yeah. And I, it's funny because I know we read that it was a masculine fragrance, but when right. I first smelled it off the puck, the sweeter side was coming through, whatever yeah. that kind of different florally something right even though actually there is no floral which is funny we just totally oh. picked that we thought we smelled it marcus was wrong there's no there's no floral. wow is so wait a minute What's was it just that? the mandarin because it was something sweet it that must we were have catching been. it must have been the mandarin with the sandalwood or the mandarin with the clothes something, something yeah because like hold on a second 
Or maybe even oh. like the sandalwood in Mandarin. I don't maybe. know what's creating that. Maybe the sandalwood. The but it, it makes it clean, whatever yep. that is. There and is it, no I thought it was more this, of a masculine flower, but I was wrong. I love that it's the Mandarin that is really the only sort of sweet candy thing in this entire balance. And the yeah. rest of it just kind of keeps surrounding it like a cloud, like mm-hmm. a fog. It really does. Oh. And and honestly, if I hadn't read Mandarin, I still don't think I would have figured out what was making it that nice, gentle, sweet happening. Right. And y'all, this giant KUN bowl, <laughs> look at this, it's just plastered. You can't even hardly see the ridges anymore. This no. subtle art base is just fantastic. I do feel like this is one of those ones that it is oddly comforting. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it's... Right. It, I do feel safe wherever I'm at yeah. smelling this. It's not like I'm trapped in the storm, which no, I like. No, but I do go to a place. In fact, there's this place on YouTube that's called Nemo Dreamscapes. Right? Oh, you're right, And yes. they make these like fantastic meditative things for you to fall asleep to. It's basically just, just like a, a subtly animated piece of art and then like a an old music playing in the background, right? Very often, you'll see a storm yep. raging out the window, but the person's like just sitting at a table reading a book, mm-hmm. or they're cuddled up in bed or something. Like that. Right. And it's just that. It's the smell of being cozy while outside the storm is raging. Mm-hmm. That's what this smells like. And there might even be an analogy there to life itself, putting on yeah, this probably, soap, giving yeah. a little mm-hmm. bit of a calming influence when life might be absolutely right. raging. But- so maybe you're sitting on a leather couch, or you have a leather jacket, and that just could kind of be throwing that last little hit in there. Just like you have an orange candy at the bottom of your pocket. Just a very (laughs) subtle sense of that sweet orange and the rest of it. Just beautifully comforting. and Right? And and I still, like, the mandarin's there, but it really only makes it the other sense in there make sense. Right. If it didn't have that something sweet kind of citrusy in there, I don't think the other ones would have blended so well. You know, I even get a hint of the frankincense in the lather. Do you kind of sense that? It's at the end. I don't... Right. And I didn't realize what that was, but it's... You were saying spice, and I totally get that because now there's clove and cardamom and then that under tier right. has the frankincense hidden in Ooh, there and y'all we better go down to the storm cellar because we're yeah. gonna go a little bit deeper So I just got a glimpse of watching Wizard of Oz when the storm is coming in, right. and everyone's like battening down the hatches, and you and know. And I said storm cellar. That's probably right, the only yeah. movie in the world. Maybe that has that's one, where I was going. Know. But there is something about that, um, you know obviously different than their story went but there is something about knowing a storm is brewing and coming right. and like preparing to have that i mean we are in california it doesn't get too too no we don't like, get snow but we, we don't get much morning get the but we get the rain clouds mm-hmm. for sure right yeah we get a lot of rain and you can smell it in the air yeah. it is different when you have that like oh there's a storm brewing or even kinda. when it hits our trees when it hits our flowers yeah. when it hits our streets there's this, like, this beautiful natural smell that right like, it does comes from the rain and right? even if i didn't you know check on the weather app to see if it rained last night when you go outside in the morning you're like oh i think it rained last night right. you can just smell it there's something different now it's called storm cloud not rain cloud do you get a little bit of that grayness a little bit of that oh, flusteriness sure. outside and that that's why i think i was thinking wizard of oz because it is in that black and white yeah. you know moment everything shifts and that's kind of like what you're getting that uh, under yeah, the, you know right and i love that this sweet does not go crazy sweet like I, this isn't even as sweet as i take my coffee no not but at there all. is somehow just beautiful in the balance of how much sweet they gave you that it doesn't let the others lose too much of their character and because it, sometimes when you sweet something up too much mm-hmm. you can't really sense it anymore because now it's just too sweet no it's just the perfect amount so it the is. other things in there the frankincense the mm-hmm. sandal with the leather can have their own subtle personality yep. while it being comforting with the sweetness and, uh, yeah and i think that's exactly exactly what I was going to say. The mandarin actually is what's making me feel safe in that smell. Right. And the rest is like the storm around us. But again, they depend on each other so much. Right. I don't honestly think if I would have read that it had mandarin in there, I wouldn't right. know what's making that sweet. No. But I kind of like not knowing because right. that's what makes the rest of the gray clouds coming in right. actually smell like that's what's happening. And the cardamom and the pepper just darkening this up so perfectly with the sandalwood. When I was in Miami staying at the hotel, it was a really tall oh. hotel. And Tropical in our room, storm. you could see like literally like way off in the distance, the sun was still there, but you could watch the storm clouds literally coming in. Right. The rain came and then it went away. And there's something about that quickness of a storm too, whether it's a long one or short one, that right. smell is still there. That is true. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be working on a farm with your aunt and uncle. Go over and see Professor Marvel. Tell him you're running away from home. He's going to put a little gambit on you get you to go back home. But once you do, everybody's going to be down in the storm cellar. It might be a little too late because the tornado's out your window and there's a lady flying by on a bike and you just got your own! 
So head over to SubtleArtSoap.com where you'll find this and a bunch of other really cool stuff. My shave with storm cloud and i have to say it was thoroughly enjoyable a wonderful lather it really got things cranking after i give it some love and i have to say it was perfect because it's been storming here so it really really fit well storm cloud was a nice way to kind of enjoy the rainy weather outside and enjoy spring coming along here <laughs> Welcome to Messages. So our friend Matt from Teton Shaves sent us this amazing brush, part of the Zen series. And he is so beyond generous because he decided to give us a special code so we could have a giveaway for you! To any brush on his yes. whole site, y'all! So all you have to do is be a subscriber here to the Barbershop Duet on YouTube. Go check out his social media mm -hmm. accounts on Teton Shaving because they're awesome. And send us an email to we sent you at the barbershopduet.com and mention this giveaway because it is beyond generous generous he has some incredible check brushes on his site out. go check them out mm -hmm. and then send us an email because we hope you win yes. check back on may 1st to see if you are our lucky winner best of luck oh, subtly clean and comforting and subtle is a great name <laughs> it if, really if, is if scents tend to get a little too intense for you a little too pokey mm -hmm. while this has a lovely intensity nothing in this is poking out everything mm -hmm. in this is in such a beautiful balance Ooh, I feel like this would have a wide audience I was just thinking too like the splash for this would be great to have on you Ooh. because it's it really I oh. don't think it puts you in like a stormy mood Does no that make sense? no it puts you in that mood of being comforted and protected right? so, in your living room under your exactly. blankets that's what it makes so you if think having of. that on for the rest of the day I feel like it would just make me smile and feel content <laughs> like there's just something about that smell that really comes through and isn't that the analogy for life it's all about how we weather our storms y'all and if we can all do it smelling like this and i'll do it together in a community like the wet shaving mm -hmm. world has why there's very little to be worried about that is very true so if there are others from subtle art that you want us to check out give us some little tips in the comments because there's too many to decide so yeah, keep us we were just looking over the page going oh man which one i'm going to choose right, next gonna this is going to be tricky it is <laughs> don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop duet you'll smell better just watching this